Hi students, this is again the same type of question to make sure you have understood the concept. Now the concept is that if there is a re impairment loss, the impairment loss is nothing but revaluation downwards. So if the same asset which is now impaired was previously revalued upwards, like what we have studied in accounting standard 16, you have to first cancel the revaluation surplus and only the balance should go to SOPL as an impairment loss. So I am repeating this point. Impairment loss is nothing but revaluation downwards. So if the same asset was revalued earlier upwards, you have to first cancel the revaluation surplus and only the balance should go to SOPL as an impairment loss. So read the question again. Uh, in 20x3, Angry revalued 360,000 of a plot which had been purchased in 20x1 for 300,000 and a revaluation gain of 60,000 is there. In X4, Angry revalued to 130,000 a second plot of land which had been purchased for 100,000 in X2 and recognized a further revaluation gain of 30,000. So remember, this is plot 1. Plot 1 has a revaluation gain of 60,000 and entirely another plot 2 has a revaluation gain of 30,000. Now remember, one asset should be cancelled. One asset's revaluation surplus or deficit should be cancelled only against that asset. That means revaluation surplus of plot 1 can only be cancelled against revaluation deficit of plot 1. Similarly, revaluation surplus of plot 2 can only be cancelled against revaluation surplus of plot, sorry, revaluation deficit of plot 2. You cannot cancel plot 1 revaluation surplus with plot 2's revaluation deficit. Plot 1 with plot 1, plot 2 with plot 2. In 20x5, Angry wishes to return down the value of first plot of land from 360,000 to 260,000 because of impairment. Now read the question. In 20x5, Angry wishes to return down the value of first plot of land from 360,000 to 260,000 due to impairment. So now there is a downward revaluation and the downward revaluation question has stated that it is an impairment loss. But mind you, before impairment loss go to SOPL, first you have to cancel the revaluation surplus associated with this one. So there is plot 1, plot 1 has a revaluation surplus of 60,000. So the balance 40,000 shall go to SOPL as an impairment loss. So SOPL 40,000 and revaluation surplus is nothing but other comprehensive income. So other comprehensive income is 60,000. So option B. Now the entry for this particular transaction will be debit revaluation surplus for cancelling 60,000 debit SOPL for impairment loss 40,000 and credit land since you are bringing down the value of land by 100,000.